Hey, it's Mr. McFarland. Let's make a bar graph out of the data table we made last time. I am still in my same Excel workbook, the one that I saved in my OneDrive titled Flights, Table, and Graph, and my name. I've got three flights here. I picked three very different dates, one in December, one in April, and one in July. And now I want to make a graph so that this information is easy for other people to see. I'm going to do this by selecting the three total costs here. Then I'm going to go to Insert. And I'm going to click on this little tiny bar graph button. And I'm going to choose the first one here. All right, it's already filled in a lot of the things we need here. Uh, what I want to do first is change the title. I'm going to make the title very simple. I'm going to call it Flights to Tokyo. I capitalized the first letter of the words in the title because I'm not an animal. Actually, I am technically, but carrying on. Okay, next, we've got this 1, 2, and 3 down here, and that's not really what we want down there. We want those labeled with the dates that they match to. This is the trickiest part about making a graph. You need to right-click on the graph, go to Select Data. Right here it says Horizontal Category Access Labels. And it shows one, two, and three. We want to edit those, so I'm going to click the edit button here. And now I can go select the what I want to have there instead of one, two, and three. I'm going to go over to the dates that they depart on and click and drag to select them. It puts some code here that tells Excel where those things are located, and I'll press OK. Now you can see instead of 1, 2, 3, it's filled in with those dates and times. I'll press OK, and those are along the bottom now. Great. OK, we still need labels for our x-axis and our y-axis. I can add those by clicking on the graph and clicking on the plus sign right here and checking axis titles. Now I've got two blank titles here. I can click into one of them and I can highlight the text there and I can change it to what I want. I'm going to change this one to departure date. Again, I've capitalized the letters of each word because this is a title. And I'm going to do the same over here. I'm going to label this one cost. All right, I've got a solid graph here, but Everyone's graph is going to have these blue bars. I want to make mine a little bit unique. I can right click onto the bars and click on fill here. I can change it to a different color. I can choose a nice gradient. I can choose a texture. You can even choose a picture if you'd like. I'm going to keep mine fairly simple. I'll make mine kind of this orange, and I'll make it a gradient. All right, I've got some really nice work here. I've got a data table, and I've got a bar graph. How do I get it to someone else? Up in the top right, I'm going to click on this button that says Share. And it says anyone with this link can edit. That's usually a bad idea if uh, you just want to show someone something. You don't want them editing it and messing it up. So I clicked up at the, on that there, and I'm going to uncheck Allow Editing. I'll hit Apply. Then I'll hit Copy Link. It says the link has been copied, and it says anyone with this link can view. That's great. 
I'll head back over to OneNote, and in this box right here, it says paste a link to the file with your table and graph below. I'll hit Control V to paste that in there. Now my teacher can click on it, and it will load up. There we go, now I can see your hard work. Make sure you test out your link before you are done. Get it fixed, make sure it works so people can see your work and give you credit for it. Thanks.